Signs of the bear. We have a few bears that like to hang out here. It has been ridiculously cold here the last week or so. Like 15 to 20 degrees below the average temperature for this time of year. So things have been kind of slow moving. We did get a few inside renovation tasks done that we wanted to do. So that was a little bit of benefit of the cold. But it's not supposed to creep above zero, above freezing, until early next week. So I wanted to get out and take a little hike out here in the bush. There's no wind today. There's been a little bit of snow falling, but that's about it. The other day I could hear the woodcocks out here, so they're back. Heard the first few grouse drumming, and I've heard some turkey gobbles, so I figured we'd take a little walk around Dombois Forest in early spring. See what things are looking like. Lots of forest out here. Bear hair. This is likely from last fall, but it's hard to say. A couple weeks ago when I was walking around back here, I did find some big tracks in the snow that could be from bears already starting to move through here. It seems early. I would think they're still hibernating, but it's hard to say. We did have that warm spell a little while back that I would not be surprised if it got some of them up and out of their dens. It's one thing when the, when the bush grows in back here, especially when it gets windy, it's kind of weird walking around because you can't hear them and they can't hear you. I'm sure they can smell us. Sometimes we smell them, but kind of weird. I usually walk around with a big stick, keep a knife on my side just in case, because you never know. This is our little walkway here. Kind of floods out a bit in the springtime, and if we get heavy rains in the summer, it stays flooded, but this is where we get all our firewood back here. So, we've got this little boardwalk that helps us get the tractor back there, the little lawn tractor with the trailer. Let's just get our wood cut for the winter, hauled back up to the house. The previous owners kept everything here cut nice and clean along the edge of this edge of the property. This is the west side of the property. So this is cut straight to the back. Makes it nice and easy to get through here with that little lawn tractor. We have a lot of woodpeckers out here. And this looks to me like it's probably some of the big pileated woodpeckers that have been doing this. We get those guys coming right up to the house. I shot a video of that back in the winter. Stick a link here if you want to check that out. These are some of the larger footprints that I thought might be bare. So that's my foot beside these other prints that they just carry on here. It's really hard to tell when the snow is like this. But if that bear did wake up a couple weeks ago, something tells me he's probably not too impressed right now with the way the weather's looking. Follow this deer trail for a little bit. I found a shed antler a couple weeks ago, so maybe we'll get lucky and find another one. A little bit of a collection of shed antlers back at the house there. Looks like I should probably head this way. Sure signs of deer. At various places out here where we got these flags put up on trees. These are all spots where last year we 
found patches of morel mushrooms. So these would be a good indication for where to hunt for them this year. Pretty excited about that, but given the amount of snow that's still on the ground, something tells me we might be waiting an extra week or two for that to happen. Hard to make out, but these are grouse tracks. Tons of grouse hanging out in the woods here. And there's a grouse. Lots of these little guys running around out here. This area that we're coming up to, one of my favorite areas on the property, especially in the springtime. This all becomes wetland. And it attracts some pretty neat birds. We get sandhill cranes hanging out back in here. Even pelicans stop in sometimes for a little while on their way up to Lake Winnipeg up on the Red River. Dries up totally in the summertime. But in the spring, it's just this nice little wetland that is just full of wildlife. All kinds of stuff stops in here. Coming up to the biggest tree that we have on the property. It's actually the last surviving elm tree on the property here. And it's on its way out. Manitoba lost a huge percentage of the old elm trees to Dutch elm disease over the years. Sad. It's a big tree though. It's gonna make a happy home for some creatures I think once it's fully lost its life. Some more pileated woodpecker damage. I'm actually surprised we didn't see one today walking around out here. Big holes. They're after ants, grubs, things like that. Well, we're getting pretty close to being back at the house now. So that was a little tour of the backside of Dombois. 60 acres of forest. Didn't see much wildlife today. At least we saw a grouse. That was nice pretty easy to come back here and just lose yourself for a couple hours, walk around. Another channel that I really like to watch, Start From Seed Homestead, just did a nice little tour of his watershed on his property, which you may want to check out. Pretty nice property he's got. It's in eastern Ontario. So I'll leave a link to that down in the description to his channel and to the video, as well as somewhere around up here. Ciao!